And we, Kyle was on our show a, a few weeks ago. Okay. And, you know, we had said to her, uh, you know, what, how, how, how have you thought of the, the new women? She was like, well, I, I, I liked Garcelle, but she has said some things about me since then. And I, I'm just curious, like, where did the problems with Kyle start? You know what's so funny? I mean, the problem with Kyle, it wasn't even really about Kyle. What I was saying across the board at first is that I would say things to them and I wasn't sure if they were afraid of Twitter, me being the first black woman, they didn't really want to go after me. So I would say things and it never landed with anybody. And I felt like it never really landed with Kyle. I would say, tell me how you feel. And I would hear her say my name off, you know, like if we were at Denise's dinner. And so she was like, I feel like everybody's, you know, fake ass bitch. And then I would say, oh, tell me, did I do something? And she'd be like, no, I don't want to single you out. But I'm like, tell me, tell me. And she'd be like, no, I don't want to do that. And then she would go off with Teddy and I would hear them say Garcelle. So that's how it started. And then she ran with it. You know, my thing is, I'm a grown woman. If there's a problem, come and talk to me and we can fix it. And I felt like that wasn't being done. So that's why I called her out. And now and it's, a, it's a runaway train that I can't catch. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting for the reunion and I'll catch up with her then. Yeah, yeah so you guys haven't spoken since all this no. has happened. And she's the OG of this show. You know how it works. You know, this show is not about us being friends and having a kumbaya moment. So I'm surprised that she's so surprised. Right, right. There's always yeah. there's always been that element to to this show, obviously. Yeah, so exactly. And right. it's not that big a deal. It's like there's bigger things in the world to worry about than Kyle hurt feelings. Of course. Yeah, and I'm sure course. by the time you guys get to the reunion, like you're gonna oh, say it's gonna be a bomb. It's gonna be a <laughs> it's gonna be a blowout and yeah. we're gonna love it because that's why we watch reality TV. I'm sorry to say. Exactly. Um, but uh, you know, you're both gonna say your side of it. And I, I kinda understand um, what you're saying about the whole thing, like not wanting to single you out because they're afraid of what people are going to say on Twitter yeah, about it. Yeah. And I was curious as to how you're handling just the criticism in general, because you know, with reality shows, <sighs> that there's always the hardest part for me. There's always a side there. It, it's never, Oh, I like everybody. It's right. you either right. like this you person, gotta be you on don't like that Team Garcelle or team. That's yeah. the hardest part for me, I have to be honest with you. Um, everything else has been, you know, like I said, I'm a big girl. I've been around. I, I, I get it. But the Twitter world and taking sides can be really hurtful at times. And that's what I'm having a really hard time with that. You know, sometimes I'll even stay away from Twitter for a couple of days just because I don't want to deal with it. And just because to me... It's not that serious, right? you know, but people take it so seriously and I get it. They're invested in the show. They're invested in, in the women and they've, you know, been team Kyle for a long time. And I really don't want people to take time, uh, take, you know, sides. It's just like, just enjoy the show. Right. But it's I guess it's that's an part entertainment. Of the show. Yeah, yeah. It is exactly. definitely part of the show. So that's a hard thing for me. And then, you know, I haven't, I haven't said anything about her on Twitter. Like I don't tweet. I don't tweet my feelings about someone. Like if I'm talking to you and the blogs pick it up, it becomes a headline. That's another thing that I'm realizing that no matter what I say becomes a headline the next day. Right. I, I love that you said it's not that serious. That's something my boyfriend says to me all the time, just about That's everything. It. Like he's just like, it's not that serious if right. you really think about it. And if you think about Twitter in general, like, this many people were never supposed to have access to our lives and to be able right. to give that opinion. So, I mean, t Twitter is just a disaster. Yeah, and the whole like, I think, I think it's I think it's smart to just, like, take a break once in a while yeah. and don't even engage because there's no winning on that Right, website. there's no winning, no matter what you say. And I feel like the whole cancel culture, I get it. People get upset at other people for things, but... We can't cancel people just because of one thing. I feel like if you said something five years ago, now you're, it's hurt, it's come back to haunt you. And I feel like we're human. We make mistakes, we say stupid things, and I hope we grow as we get older. So right, that's my opinion on that. Yeah, and it's cancel, cancel culture is very, very prominent right now. There's people getting canceled left and right, especially with Bravo. So it's oh, just, yeah, it's, I it's gotta be careful. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's happening. Um, it's happening a lot, but yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it is crazy. Social media, the aspect of obviously being on reality TV, but 
ha- giving that much access to other people, they think that they have a right to tell you how to how to live your life, <laughs> which exactly. is obviously um, not fair. 